Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Supercars of London and a car review like no other. This video is going to delve into all of the aspects that you want to see when it comes to the car. Right now I'm filming what the UK countryside slash behind a service station has to offer in terms of wildlife and countryside. Before we get into this video, I wanted to set the scene to make out that I was somewhere exotic, including this bird. Very exotic. Ready? Be ready? Right, go. Like all car reviews, the car reviewer will start way too far away from the camera so that you can gauge just how far they have walked and how much effort they have put into not only arriving at the car but also the thought process into what they are going to say as an introduction. Let's just start the video here. I have come to Beaconsfield Services to test drive a car that so many are intrigued about. It is a hybrid, it is a car that BMW have been working behind the scenes on for many years and the technology gone into the engine, chassis, everything else is just amazing. What this car is, is the BMW i8. Okay, keep filming and I'm just gonna time lapse this bit really awfully. <laughs> Here it is, the BMW i8. Ignore that picture of the convertible, that doesn't exist yet. And always be prepared for the unexpected. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the BMW i... Why is Sam's logo on my car? This is my car for the weekend. God, he gets everything. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2015... Welcome to the Mercedes AMG GT-S. I forgot to put this bit in before I drove the car, so back to me as I talk some stats. Now we move on to the stats and the specs of the car, which you have to know off by heart. Are you recording? I'm sure a lot of people want to know what makes the Mercedes AMG GTS five out of five stars on lots of websites. Have we got two cameras? Two cameras? The car or me? Okay. So, the specifications are four litre bi turbo in front engine. Top speed is 193 miles an hour. Base curb weight is 3,627. Wheelbase is 103.5. <laughs> Length is 179. This car's got seven gears and the gear ratios are 3.40. Fourth gear is, I can barely, read your hand right, 1.29. Oh. Let's get on and see how this car drives on the road. Now obviously this is the most important bit of any car review. The point where the car reviewer is able to give their perspective, their emotions and their opinion on what the car is like to drive. But sometimes just don't know what to say. When you tell the world that you're going to take on the Porsche 911, there's no messing around. So let's find out if this new Mercedes AMG GT is any good. So now we know, now we know the stats and stuff on this car. When you're gonna tell the world that you're gonna take on the Porsche 911, there's no mucking about. So let's see if the GT AMG is any good. The um, <sighs> the 
cabin is wide and cosy. The centre console is huge. The gearbox and the transmission set to race, which is the most aggressive setting possible. I've got the manual override, so I'm just using the paddles, nothing happening there. Anyone that drove an SLS and thought the gearbox was a bit slow and disappointing, you need to have to go in this. So I've got the car set up in race mode, which is its most aggressive setting. And anyone that's driven the SLS and says the gearbox is slow needs to have a go in this. Getting through there. <laughs> Jesus. That was fun. Anyway, now we found out what this car is like on the road, let's take it to a racetrack and see how it handles. So here we go, for the first time ever. Uh, we're going on the track, quick. Hurry up, just select the car, select the track. We're going to Brands Hatch, the famous British circuit load. Come on, this is too long, quick, quick, quick. Here we go, oh. Please just think that this is a red car and the steering wheel is on the other side of the car. Here we go. Time to test the AMG GTS on the racetrack and put it through its paces and test this car to the limit. This is the first time that I've been able to take my car onto a track and as you can see, I am loving every second of it. The reason that I'm not talking to the camera right now and doing a voiceover is because I was concentrating so hard to make sure that I was hitting all of the apexes and not losing traction. I did in fact turn traction control off and have the car in race mode as you can see there oversteer and correcting myself. This car is so powerful and look how fantastic it looks. Just beautiful in the true blood. Oh, we're going sideways. We are going sideways, coming round to the final corner now and through to the home straight, past the start stop finish line and again another epic tracking shot of my car concentrating so hard on making sure that I'm creating a perfect video. Here comes the air lift. Air lift, air brake. Oh, look at the slide. Beautiful slide. And I can hear the tire screeching and we've come to a halt. Shit. There it is from behind. So there we go. How not to do a car review. Consequently, possibly my best car review to date. <laughs> I'm joking, I, well I'm kind of joking. I think I'm joking. Anyway, there are so many amazing car reviewers out there that I thought rather than create a serious video, why not create a video on all of the don'ts and hopefully in the future I will become a, a better car reviewer for it. So hopefully you have enjoyed this light-hearted spoof video as a sort of follow-on to the reality versus fantasy of owning a supercar that I did back in November when I had the Lamborghini. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link in the description so that you can check that video out because it's just all about having fun and not taking things too seriously. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have and click subscribe for more content like that but also Modball is coming up and Goodwood Festival Speed is coming up and the summer is heating up nicely. Put a comment in the comment box below as well if you've got any more suggestions or ideas on what you want me to create videos on, kind of like this video, just having a bit of fun, challenges, head to head, whatever it is, leave a comment in the comment box. Thank you for watching guys, take care and I will see you soon. Cheers guys.